Hello everyone. Today I want to present to you about the interesting project. Do you know how you can see inside your brain without needing to do the surgery? My name is Hala. Today I wanted to present for you about my project using near infrared spectroscopy uh, to know human brain. The first one I wanted to highlight from the background from this technique and what this technique, uh, the history, uh, fundamentals and uh, uh, where is the can apply for this technique, the compare between the new technique and the old technique. Uh, magnetic resonance imaging, uh, the short time, uh, the short name for this uh, technique MRI has become an important technique in many fields, especially from the medicine. Doctor used the magnetic resonance technique to produce images of the internal uh, tissue of the body to help diagnose a train disease and uh, disorders. Uh, MRI is an extremely important diagnostic tool. Uh, the near infrared spectroscopy, the kind of the magnetic resonance imaging. What this technique? Uh, as you can see for this picture, this is technique for near infrared spectroscopy. Uh, how this work? Uh, this is uh, can translate all information for the inside the brain and the conflict from the electric uh, signals uh, to show for the computer. The human brain has about 100 billion neurons. Human take in the information connected with sight, hearing, touch smell and it is from the sensory organs eyes air or any others and the conflict all this information to electrical signals which are then sent to the brain uh, neurons in the brain process this information through mutual exchange of the signals uh, do determined in the next action Near infrared spectroscopy techniques can analyze the functional localization of the brain by measuring this reaction in the real time using near infrared light. So, NIRS is analytical uh, methodology legally that uh, measurement absorption by chromophores in the near infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. As you can see for this graph, this is shown from the width length in this region range from uh, 650 nanometer to 1000 nanometer. And the are a couple of the bantering crosses from the skin, skull bones, then finally from the brain tissue. Uh, the first from this technique, the use of the near infrared spectroscopy was the first uh, reported by gypsies in 1977 uh, the, the first dimension uh, of the using of the near uh, infrared spectroscopy occurred in 1985 this method was then uh, approved by united states food and drug administration finally in the may 1983 the first cerebral oximeter uh, device became commercial available uh, the technique and the methodology of the near infrared spectroscopy has development and can be utilized for the real time study of the fictional brain and the fictional from the near infrared spectroscopy. Uh, this technique focuses uh, on the three specific chromophores that re reflect uh, oxy oxygen living in the brain. The first one for the hemoglobin, uh, dexahemoglobin, finally for the stereochrome uh, uh, exudates. Uh, the application of the near infrared spectroscopy for the observation uh, analysis of the brain problem is to measure for, uh, the uh, construction of the different chromophores in the brain tissue. Uh, the the replication of the near infrared signals from the brain tissue can be used uh, to generate uh, the three uh, dimensional uh, mapping of the chromophores uh, construction according to their uh, degree of the oxidation. Uh, the measurement by this method of the oxidation uh, of the oxygen of the oxygen uh, oxygen construction uh, in interior. Uh, Ethereum and the uh, so bulb can then be used to calculate the function of oxygen extraction that is utilized. 
where can apply from this technique a near infrared spectroscopy is carried out with a relatively simple and a high protocol equipment that is easy to use in a variety of locations. Accordingly, analytical studies can be carried out in the world variety of the environmental and the scenarios. Here is the here is the three studies and the article for uh, studies from this uh, technique from different apply. The first one, Isilene and Miller have utilized uh, NIRS and the function uh, near fried spectroscopy for a study for the brain activity uh, in uh, in infantis uh, as a major mode of the investigation conjective ability to this subject. The second study from this uh, for the horse fled has utilized uh, the NIRS is conjecture with electro, uh, electron with electron sulfurograph uh, to study the mental workload of the visual in the visual crying out test uh, protocols. The last study is from that from different apply uh, it is dull. Uh, utilize the uh, diagnostic tool to study and uh, measure uh, cerebral oxygenation and the uh, mental uh, for the different from the people have uh, uh, brain injury. Here is the comparing between the new technique for uh, that I explained for you uh, near of right spectroscopy and for the uh, and the old uh, technique is a posteron uh, posteron emission uh, tomograph. The most re uh, related uh, technique in comparing bit, uh, to the NIRS uh, uh, are old and the well, uh, well technique function men uh, mental uh, magnetic resonance imaging and the uh, bolstering formation uh, tomograph. As you can see for the first uh, compare uh, that the temporal uh, reso uh, resolution for the NIR is excellent than the old one. Uh, for the long can measurement from the near infrared spectroscopy can uh, measurement for the long time and the can uh, and the beginning much smaller and the simple electron defies not rec uh, record large magnetic fields. Uh, for the price between the old one, a uh, new one and old one, uh, as you can see for the uh, new one is low, like uh, uh, $300, but from the old one is more than, uh, more than for the new one. Uh, this technique is more safety for studies and easy to study to learn. Can anybody uh, know or, or used for this technique? I wanted to show the video about it, how can uh, this technique work and more comfortable. All directions in the tissue and loses intensity as it travels. Some of the light reaches back to the surface because of multiple sequential scattering and it is registered by the detector. The photons that reach the detector actually travel through a banana shaped volume. Measurements at the detector provide information about this volume between light source and detector couple called an octode. The depth of the penetration, in other words, the curvature of the banana, is a function of the distance between the light source and detector. That's why FNIR sensor geometry is key in the design depending on the type of measurements. For cognitive tasks and measurement from the prefrontal cortex, optode separation is usually 2.5 centimeters to 3 centimeters. In this study, we have used FNIR Devices Model 1000 that is based on the designs of Chance and colleagues in the 1990s and further developed at the Optical Brain Imaging Lab of Drexel University. This instrument does not rely on fibers or light guides to interface optodes with the skin. Hence, it is easier to set up, more comfortable for long sessions, and less prone to movement artifacts. However, this sensor is designed specifically for detection of cortical activation of the dorsal lateral prefrontal cortex that is under the forehead and cannot be used in other head regions because of interference from hair.
The FNIR sensor pad used in the study contains four light-emitting diodes that shine non-coherent light at 730 nanometers and 850 nanometers. There are 10 photodetectors and by shining LEDs in a sequential order along with using surrounding detectors, 16 measurement locations, voxels, are being sampled at each scan. This includes light intensity measurement of two different wavelengths and also a dark measurement for ambient light totaling three channels for each measurement location. So, in total, there are 48 channels recorded from the scan. The sensor pad is placed over the forehead of the subject. Side 1 should be on the subject's left and side 2 on the subject's right side. The sensor should be placed just over the eyebrows and should be centered vertically. The imaginary vertical symmetry line passes through the midline of the forehead and then the nose. The sensor pad's center line coincides with the midline of the forehead and nose. Once the sensor pad is positioned, the cables are pulled on the two sides and connected at the back of the head with the cable secured with a clip. It is critical to check that the sensor pad is properly coupled with the skin and that there are no bumps or spaces between the optodes and skin. A good way to check for proper coupling is to apply a little pressure over the sensor pad and feel if positioning changes with pressure. Sometimes a headband elastic and or firm cloth such as a tennis band or bandana can be placed over the FNIR sensor to secure coupling of the optodes with the skin. After the sensor is positioned, signals at all channels should be verified by starting data acquisition. First, the sensor pad should be connected to the FNIR hardware control box. The device should be connected to the computer by a USB cable and both systems should be powered on. Next, run Kobe Studio on the computer by clicking on the shortcut. At the left pane, click on So that is the long video. Uh, if you want to more information about that, can I send for uh, the link for in the model? Uh, in the end for this presentation, uh, near uh, infrared spectroscopy is more useful uh, to detect many problems in medicine, uh, diagnostics, especially from the brain uh, problems. We understand that technique from uh, near uh, infrared spectroscopy of the monitoring have done to great role in the eczema, uh, producing and cerebral uh, studies at all. Uh, Finally, in IRS is uh, easy uh, of the study and the learning. Uh, also, there are many studies uh, and uh, many kinds of the of the people studies from this technique, like uh, doctors and uh, many scientists in the different department for the physical and the chemistry uh, to uh, development this uh, technique for uh, to use the more in the future. Thank you, uh, thank you for my mentor and for my. Uh, professor in this uh, class if you have any question can send to me or connect uh, with uh, my model this is uh, my references help me to find some information about it, uh, this technique thank you have a good day